Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Wolf Among Us and thank you for watching last time guys we found the last piece of the magic mirror beat the shit out of the Jersey Devil too a worst kept secret in fable town for a friend the rules will bend that's a slippery slope that is Colin stays out of sight for monies at least can you say the same Fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? I give you the cash you I have. Give me one more chance and hear me out. I see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm gonna give it to him. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call I owe him watch. one. He's a good guy. Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only home he knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong, but look different. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance. I owe him one, guys. I gotta help him. That's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, sir. I knew I could count on you to make me old again. We get this I have the cash in my pocket. To the nines, I will. Just give him the cash. Just give him the cash. You have cash. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Ugh, whatever. That's fine. I'm... Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? Yeah, I mean, he's good. I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Well, did you or didn't you? Uh, <laughs> Fine. I'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? No, I don't. I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. But someone did. Hmm. I think what would make a person do that? Pretty sure it's about control. There's one thing I figured out. It's that the crooked man is all about control. That's what he wants. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop. The magic he peddles. Chains. Ribbons. Ribbons. Yeah, all. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Oh, yeah. You weird little monkey man. He's your repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Uh-oh. Snow, I know you've got your reasons, but he's not our top concern right now. I think he's dead. Crane's dead. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. No. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Oh, interesting. What just happened we uh, pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at bloody mary's reflection oh her that explains the sting i'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. sorry magic mirror so let's not do that again okay looks like we'll have to track him down later in paris we need to focus on the immediate threat and that's the crooked man bigby we don't have a lot of time are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Oh, for God's sakes. Mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? Well, that was terrible. <laughs> that works. I don't recognize the door, but... The symbol. It's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. Oh. Dan, does it move that often? The door. It moves. what I tell you? Damn. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's going to move again, but I'm going to get there before it does. Uh oh. Big B, wait. Oh, yes. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. What? He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense. 
Street justice. Sorry. Lady. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. But we have to make a commitment to working within the law. No guarantees. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fable Town government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have <sighs> enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Oh, awesome. no. I got no other choice. I want to kill him. He needs to die. If we let him live, if we let the crooked man live, the bureaucracy will save his life. So many people are in his pocket. There's no way in hell. We have to kill that son of a bitch. Oh, oh man. Okay. Well, get to the door, baby. Get to the door. I love how he takes a sweet ass time. Just open the door. Get in there. Get in there. Oh yeah, let's do this. Oh yes. This is exciting. Crap's about to hit the fan. We're about to find out who the crooked man is. Oh yes. Oh. What? What? Tim. What the hell are you doing what? here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, what? when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. You know, I kind of thought the crooked man would have bigger guards. Yeah. Trolls, ogres. I'm almost insulted he doesn't. Maybe he just wants to talk. Uh, he is a drug peddling it's murderer. To bring you right on in. So, if you'll come this way, look. This is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Fine. Lead on. You weird... You can't still be sick, right? I mean... So is the, is the Crooked Man Scrooge McDuck? It's like, oh... Ooh, that leg doesn't Thanks look Thanks for good. understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. Or an escort, for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous. Especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Uh -huh. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job. Yeah. And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Um, he is... Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? Work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty, too. It's not so bad. Not what so the bad. hell? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? God sakes! Some of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. That's... We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. That's nice, hey, Tiny Sheriff, Tim. Hold up. I gotta go in with you. I don't have time for this. You're an idiot. God bless us, everyone. Sorry, Tiny Tim, you're a bit of a moron. Well, I'm some kind of a fucking joke to you. What did I tell you here? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate. Uh, I think I'm gonna kick the door down. Yeah, first time ever. What the fuck? Holy shit! Hello. Oh my god, surrounded in bad guys. Holy crap. Oh, there's a Jersey Devil. I'll kick your ass again, man. That's the... I was wondering when you'd turn up. You know, Tim would have been happy to have let you in. I'm so sorry, sir. He wouldn't it's wait... It's all right, Tim. 
I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. Who in the hell are you? You murdering psychopath. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Oh my god, they're all Why in don't on you it. have a seat, Sheriff. We have a great deal to discuss. They're gonna try to enslave you. I'm gonna do the cool guy thing. I'm gonna light a smoke, baby. That's how I roll. I like smoking. It might be my very last one, to be honest with you. Holy crap, is that the end of the episode? Are you friggin' kidding me? You do not end the episode, you sons of- Oh! I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Uh oh. Oh, now they screamed. The wolf is coming. Oh, snap. And the cool part is, is that I started the series before they released the last episode. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Oh, man. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> the hell is... I wish I could have seen it. Oh, well. <gasps> Oh, I hope I get to kill that bitch. Okay, so. Uh, I, wow, me and 4.3% of us of players chose not to give Colin an answer. Ouch. <laughs> Apparently I was in the minority there. Uh, yeah, so the cool part is about this series is that before I started it, the last episode had not come out. Uh, and the last part now has come out, I think it was like a week ago or so. So we'll actually get to just move straight into the last uh, part of the last episode of The Wolf Among Us and bring us to the, the well, the climax. Oh my. Ooh. Let's see our choices, shall we? Because uh, this episode is going to end kind of early, so we might as well stretch it out as much as we can. It says, did you attach or remove Rissa's ribbon? You and 63% of the players did not try to remove the ribbon. All right. Fantastic. Which crooked operation did you investigate first? You and 62% of the players want to give the cut above first. Okay. Did you send Toad to the farm? You and 71% of the players decided Toad should not go. To yeah, because you know what? Toad's had shitty luck, guys. Come on. How did you respond to the crooked man? You and 41% of players lit a cigarette. Nice. Well, that is by far like the coolest noir way to end things, you know. The most detective way to end things, as it were. Uh, but this is um, the end of this episode, guys. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be a short episode, um, and we will start anew uh, in the final part of The Wolf Among Us. I look forward to it. Tweet at me at MartyrA2J if you want to get in contact with me. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, and we will see you next time.